This is our 2008 Pathfinder. It's fairly dirty under the hood because, well, we live rural and dusty roads and all that. Today we're going to change the radiator. Preventative change. These things have problems with the radiators. Um, they can bust and mix things that shouldn't mix and then you get the strawberry milkshake of that. It's just bad. It's just bad. That's what I'm saying. So we're going to pull this out. I'm honestly not 100% sure if it's one of the bad ones or not. It's in the year range. I don't know the history of the vehicle and radiators relative to transmissions are cheap. So we're gonna pull it. And I figured, why not show you a couple of things? This is not an instructional video because it won't take you long to realize I don't know anything, really. It's more of a what not to do and a look at what you might have to do. So here's the radiator. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna take the skid plates off on the bottom. We're gonna snap this shroud right here off. It's a two piece deal that we're gonna take apart. We'll show you some of it, probably not all of it. You'll be frustrated because you don't see everything. You've been warned if you watch to the end and you don't see what you needed. Well, there's other guys and girls on YouTube that really actually know what they're doing. This is just me saying, hey, you can do it maybe, probably. Like, I don't know you, but probably. All right, if you're doing this job, there's a bolt here probably here all along here that you got to take out if you've got a 2008 somebody's probably been here before you and something's broke that won't come out i'm deciding whether i need to even bother there's two more up in here they gotta come out you'll find them and then there's two right back here if you got a keen eye you'll see i got oil residue which is actually why I decided to do this job today anyway. I can't spot where it's coming from. I gotta take all this junk off anyway, and if I'm gonna do that, I might as well change the radiator while we're in here, but that's another day. We're just changing the radiator and figuring out where the free undercoating's coming from. All right, now we're gonna pop these things out. With my luck, probably break them, because that's how I roll. Oh, underneath the oil leak found it and this doesn't happen to me very often but uh this job that we're doing right here is actually going to fix it it's a trans line that goes into the trans cooler it's dripping a little bit on the fitting on the radiator isn't that nice never happens to me that you get two fixes for the price of one and i might be celebrating too early but why not it's early in the day as predicted we broke one this one so have some extras i'm gonna pop this out of here just because it's in the way put it up there somewhere so go ahead and do that. nissan makes this super easy to do it's kind of them you know you deal with these and you deal with these and you release these and all that but you also have to move this to get at these two bolts right here and there's two little pop style fittings you know what they look like they're easier to deal with see right there and right there that fit over that and over that you just kind of pull nice and gentle like so you break them that's the goal now most of your radiators have a plug right here you can drain them there or you can pop the big hose over here if you don't want to mess around i just don't want to handle that kind of volume all at once it will not drain unless you pop a cap somewhere else top of the rad expansion tank you know somewhere because of liquid and how that stuff i don't understand okay well that's draining there's this shroud right here it's two pieces Way down in there where you can't reach, it comes apart. Down in here somewhere, right about there. We're gonna do that in a minute. That was the rad cap, who needs that? There's a 10 mil here, there's one right here. There's a connector right there, you gotta disconnect. You, you know, just break it off, cause who needs that later? I'm kidding, don't break it off. Hose right here, that comes out of right there. Another one right down in here you got to take out you'll figure out what's hooked to it when you start pulling that's how that works we're going to get it into two pieces and then bring it out through the hole that's far too small but before you do that it's usually easier if you unhook this top hose so we'll get to that too still fighting with this shroud having done this job too many times to not really know what i'm doing it's always the fight sometimes you find it easier if you pop this bolt pull this electric fan out that's the connector you already disconnected make you did already disconnect it right so we're gonna try that create a little space in sometimes here. it helps to see stuff after it's out so here's the shroud right here here's the second piece that disconnects from right there and right there there's getting under the vehicle involved there's you know 
birds nobody needs to hear and anyway it comes out there you go now if you need to label stuff which i do because i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what anything is sometimes i use tape but we're going to disconnect here we're going to lay it aside we're going to disconnect here lay it aside here lay it aside right it's going to get messy lay it aside and then this comes out this comes out the whole rig lifts out that's the goal uh, before you can do that however it is hooked right here and right here and maybe other places but there for sure to your other ac stuff you should separate those before you just go yanking on it and well i mean if you're just curious don't and see what happens that's that's good okay here's what it looks like without a radiator your rad mounts sit right in that hole right there and right in that hole right there and this actually sits down into them so i found if you pick it up move it slightly backwards push it down then you can get this beast out and just be careful and take your time because you know nissan engineers care about you and your mental well-being and in their care they give you all kinds of room to work with in here so it's just going to lift right if you believe that ha! it's going to be a pain don't break anything it'll come eventually here's the old radiator careful with it because you know i don't know you need these off the side so we're going to snap those off the side there's a bolt down there and you just kind of lift out you'll figure it out no big deal we might even you know do the responsible thing and make them brand new again with a little bit of that black stuff comes in a can clean them up just a hair you need those you're going to want these little flaps if they happen to still exist on your vehicle a lot of them don't keep yeah just get those off that's okay here they are all out right there these little rubber things you're going to want them so pay attention they're probably going to be still stuck here not really they shouldn't be if they're in good shape but just make sure you got everything you need these aren't that bad we're going to clean them up we're going to hit them with just a little bit of the paint stuff just for fun that oil is from the leak that i went to figure out where it was coming from and we found so you know there's worse things and that'll get fixed as part of this job too snap these on your new radiator it's like the reverse of taking them off if you've gotten this far and only broke two or three things you probably can handle that i lied to you some of that oil was from the leak some of it was this stuff i remember now i spritzed it on the bottom of this the whole view anyway i'm not going to paint these they look pretty good instead i'm just going to squirt some of this stuff on it because we live in a rust belt where we get ice on the road and we use salt because that's what you do because it actually gets rid of the ice we use salt because we don't like our vehicles but this will help them live slightly longer all right we're ready to put it back in except we're also going to change the oil because when have you ever seen on one of these vehicles that easy of an access <laughs> mosquito to your oil filter so we're gonna do that right now this is just a mess that that fluid it came out nice and clean but you know i wisely used a dirty pan it's all right i got more fluid so we're gonna uh get re uh, recycle that and change the oil. okay there's the old rod we're gonna prep the new one so the side pieces are off we need the rad cap Bring it over here, put their side pieces on with the little rubber pieces. The radiator cap, now this one, peculiar enough, had a little spot right there that wouldn't let the cap go on that we just had to trim off because, you know, precision engineered parts from my local auto parts store. But otherwise, we should be good. I hope. It'll be good, right? Now, it's all in like in the hole not in installed and we've only called down one curse on the nissan engineers i hope all their children are born naked and illiterate calm down and think about it it's a joke but if you take this upper hose off it does give you a little more room so that's on me i did that i refuse to unhook the air conditioning because i don't want to deal with it but this is a problem we had to go like sideways diamond shape shove it down in there was a lot of muttering but there it is so now we just get this sitting in there and in there and then get the mounts sitting up in there and we'll okay now we're just putting it all back together it's basically in the rad's in this two-piece shroud is in 
The line on the bottom is hooked, clamped, double checked. So are the trans lines, one on each side. Don't forget about those. Just use your feelers and your eyeballs and put everything back the way it came. A couple things not to forget. Don't forget to plug this back in because your fan won't work. You might find it a little easier. I don't give advice because I don't really know what I'm doing, but if you leave this till the end to get everything in, hook that back up. Don't forget the hose that goes here. Just, just putting it all back where it came from. And then we're gonna fill it with fluid and all that stuff. That's later. It's all back together. It's just, you know, the reverse of taking it apart. Keep track of what you're doing. Snap it all back together. And don't take advice from a guy like me. There are better videos online. But it let you see some of it. And hopefully whatever you're doing today, it wasn't a complete waste of your day. If you're short bolts, well, hopefully one's not like in the radiator. If you got extras, well, you're in for a real fun time now, aren't you? Okay, now we're gonna start filling. I got funnels because, you know, I don't want to make too big a mess. Bought the 50, or not the 50-50. I do not buy the 50-50 because it's expensive. The straight stuff, mix it yourself, whatever your climate, I don't know. We're going to pour down the app and start thinking about bleeding it and getting the air out. And there's much better videos than mine, so I'm not going to show you a lot of that on how to do that. But essentially, we're going to fill it up. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to leave some in that. We're going to turn the heat on. That pesky rear heat too everybody high and just let her heat up and blow the air bubbles out and we'll fight with it for a while and it'll be really pleasant well here she sits right here it's been bled you know we heated it up we cooled it down the bubbles and all that and honestly that part of the job i'm just not super efficient at so i make up for my uh severe lack of skill and understanding in time it's just you know that funnel was full it's drinking it over time and we'll play with it a little bit and fuss with it a little bit and eventually it'll all work out. last thing i'll say for now um the people that get paid to do this for a living they don't get paid enough i'm just saying it's very frustrating i do it because you know it needs done and i can do it on my own schedule and i'm cheap and you might be able to do it maybe i don't know i don't really know you I just don't know but that's why I do it but the people that do it for a living you guys and gals and folks you just don't earn enough thank you 